Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I told you guys in the last video that I was going on vacation and that I was going to Zurich with my dad. Say hi, dad. Hey. <laughs> so we've already started our travels today. We flew out of Charlotte to Philly, which originally we were supposed to go on the 1129 flight to Philly, but it was looking a little hard to get on. And the 1031 flight, I heard the gate agent calling all these names of no-shows. So I went up and we switched over and took the earlier flight just to make sure we could get here. And then, oh, also when we went through TSA, my dad had to get patted down today. So that was our first event of the day. <laughs> and then when we got to Philly, it wasn't showing us on the list for the Zurich flight because we had changed up the gate. So we had to go get that change. And then they had checked our bags in Charlotte. So we had to go get our bags from baggage claim in Philly and then come back through TSA again. And I realized I didn't have my jacket. I left my jacket on the plane, but we got the jacket. So hopefully no more events, but our flight to Zurich is not until seven tonight. It's 1.20 right now. Everybody else is waiting for our This flight. is everyone else. Just waiting for our flight. Yep, that's waiting for our flight tonight. <laughs> this is our gate. So since nobody was ever here, we're like, might as well just hang out for a little bit. Um, that flight's wide open, so we shouldn't have any troubles getting on there. But we've got about five hours to kill before we get on our flight to Zurich. So, Dad's gonna do some work. I'm probably gonna edit vlogs and watch movies and I don't know. Mm -hmm. But we're on our way, guys. So, I have a lot of Euros from my last um, trip to Europe and I was gonna go change those for the Swiss franc because that's the currency in Switzerland, but Philadelphia doesn't have a currency exchange, so that's news to me. I was based here and I could have sworn that I saw one in the A-terminal, but either they got rid of it or they don't have one at all, so that's good. I read online that places will take your euros in Switzerland, but they might just give you Swiss francs back in exchange, so. We'll see, but I guess I can use my credit card too. All right, we got our seats. <laughs> Premium economy for our long flight. Let's go. All right, we've got a nice little foot rest. Comes with a pillow, blanket, headphones. We got a baggie with a little eye mask, some socks. Some earplugs, some oh, toothpaste and a toothbrush, <laughs> and some lotion. All right, Dad, do your magic. Look at this little handy dandy trick. It's tinted windows. At the touch of a button. So fancy. So Here's the flight meal. I got the pasta. Dad got the chicken. We're an hour out. It is 1.23 our time, but it's about... It's like it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's... Oh, you can even... There you go. There's the camera. But we just got our breakfast. to our hotel. We had to figure out all the train stuff, but now we're pros at it, I think. <laughs> we still um, not going the wrong way. <laughs> we only went the wrong way one time. Um, but we decided that we're just gonna shower and then push through the tiredness, even though I didn't really get much sleep last night, did you? Mm -hmm. I don't think my dad really did either. Um, I don't sleep good on planes ever, so <clears throat> figured that would be the case. But yeah, we're gonna shower, push through, go venture out because tomorrow we have to get up really early. So we figured it'd be easier to go out and go to bed early than take a nap and then try to go to bed early. So we're gonna shower, change clothes and go explore. Also our little, um, the lady that checked us in, she was gonna charge us extra cause we got here early. Our check-in is not supposed to be till two and it's only like 
10 in the morning. But she was like, oh, you guys just came from the U.S. Never mind. Just go ahead and go to the room. <laughs> so thank you, lady. That was very nice. <laughs> All right, we're trying our first authentic Swiss meal. It's um, veal and then their homemade hash browns. And look at our view, gorgeous cheese. <laughs> went to the store and got a few little snacks and some coffee in for in the morning because tomorrow we have a long tour that we're going to be doing so we need some food and some coffee for that. We ended up just walking around Old Zurich um, today. It is local time 3.09 p.m. so we ventured for a good amount of time. I think we got out there around like 11 30 ish so we're calling it a day we did what we needed to do we're just gonna relax for a little bit and go to bed early because we are doing i think it's literally like a 12 hour tour tomorrow that starts at eight in the morning so we want to be well rested for that we're going to the top of europe so that'll be a lot of fun so we had to bring cold clothes for that so we're excited for that, but for now we're just gonna relax, try and catch up on sleep so that we're ready to go tomorrow. We tried to go to sleep, but we both woke up at like eight. <laughs> so we came to get McDonald's for dinner and they have um, a McFlurry that's specific to Switzerland, the Ragusa McFlurry. It's day two, 6 a.m. local time here, which means it is midnight back where we live. Um, I'm gonna try one of our coffees while we get ready for our long day. We bought these little like cappuccino things from the store. So we'll see how that tastes. Um, I'm sure you guys were watching my last little clip where we were at McDonald's and you were like, oh, those are the tourists that go all the way to Europe and go to McDonald's. Yes, we were last night. <laughs> but it was also kind of late and a lot of restaurants were closing and our lunch yesterday cost $80 and we were like, mm, we don't want to spend another $80 this late at night. So we did not want to break the bank on day one. We knew we were probably going to have to buy a bunch of food today. And then obviously for Thursday too. So we were like, why not just do a cheap meal since we know it'll be cheap. Um, but yeah, today's our long day. We're going to the top of Europe and back. So I think the total amount of time to get there is like four hours, but we're gonna be making stops along the way. So we won't get back till late tonight. So let me get ready for that and we'll start that fun adventure today. Our first little stop on the tour is Interlaken. I think it's how she said it. It's in between the mountains. Look at the snowy mountains. So we have 45 minutes here to walk around and See what's going on. This is gonna be our ride part way up to the mountain. Everything is made out of ice in here. It's all ice. <laughs> Got some ice sculptures. <laughs> Don't 
dark part of the cave. Here's some light. This is insane. It's just all ice. Got the top of your up ice sculpture. So neat. This is Hannah doing her ice dance. shows you how they yeah, make their chocolate, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. I guess they roast it. <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> Walk the cow. So it shows the ingredients that go into each different chocolate. I'm making the chocolate. He's making the chocolate. Look at that. So nice. Alright, we came to this restaurant, Cucina. It's got a nice little green area. We ordered a margarita pizza, but it looks just like cheese to me. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what it tastes yeah. like. Alright, it is our last day of exploring, but first we have to go get COVID tested before we can do anything else. Because regardless of vaccination status, you still have to get tested and have proof of a negative COVID test before you go back to the US. So that's what we're doing now. And then I think we're gonna go check out Lucerne for the day, but we'll see what ends up happening. Also that pizza last night was just a cheese pizza. I mean, it was still good, but it wasn't what I thought when I ordered margarita pizza. <laughs> it was still pretty good though. But let's go get our nose swabbed. All right, we're trying some breakfast at the train station. We don't really know what we ordered, but <laughs> only the coffee part we kind of know, but pastry-wise, we're not really sure. <laughs> Welcome to Lucerne. Chapel Bridge, I think it said it was built in the 1300s and it's still looking the same. Come take a look at the glacier gardens. The famous fallen lion monument. We're in the mirror maze. 
but we can't really tell how to get around. So this will be fun. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Uh, like it looks like you can go way down there, but you can't. <laughs> Alright, we've entered a new part of the museum where we're going through the rocks, but it is like pitch black dark in here. <laughs> so, this is kind of creepy a little bit. Oh, here's some light. This is just so creepy. <laughs> How long my arms are in this mirror. <laughs> Let's see this one. They're just long everywhere. Legs for days. <laughs> they even really like lanky legs. <laughs> yeah. Then let's see. This makes you like. <laughs> Such a big head. <laughs> this one <laughs> makes you a little short chunk. <laughs> oh goodness. They have these little water fountains everywhere that you fill your water bottles up with. Don't look like your standard water fountain, but this is what it is. Going up some very steep stairs. That's gonna take us, I think, to the top of this tower. That's all. It's supposed to give us good views. We'll see. We've done a lot of hill climbing and walking today, so <laughs> we're going real slow. Imagine if this was your yard and you could just come here whenever you wanted and get the views of the lake, the mountains, the city. It's wild. We've walked around a lot, so it's time for an ice cream break at this Bachmann or something shop. I'll probably go back in and get some macaroons after we finish our ice cream to take home. Right, for our last meal here, we're doing fondue because that's just the way to go. Got a nice view of the water for our dinner. Our last glimpse of Luzerne. We just got back to our hotel room. Our adventures of Switzerland are officially over. The only thing we really will do is just go out tomorrow to catch, to go to the airport, but I don't think we're going to be going out to experience anything more so for the rest of the time. There's a soccer match, a block in the Yeah, we, as we were coming back from um, Lucerne, when we got on our bus, a bunch of people had on uh, Zurich football Club. clubs, um, colors. colors and t-shirts and whatever. And the soccer stadium is right beside our hotel. We actually walked past it the other night, and there's a football game tonight. So, or foosball, yeah. foosball, American football, soccer. yeah, American soccer. Um, there's a game tonight, so hopefully it's not super loud since it's like right next to us. Um, we also both just got our COVID results, and we are both negative, so that's good. <laughs> Because that would have been really bad if we one of us tested positive. Um, but neither one of us have an international phone plan, so all day we had no idea like whether or not we had tested negative or not. We, I mean, we assumed we did, but you just never know with those tests. Um, it also cost ninety five dollars to get tested, which was a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. Um, I guess it used to be free to get tested here, and then when tourists started coming back, they started charging. <laughs> I gotta make that money. Um, I'll show you guys my souvenirs that I got really quick. 
So I got this t-shirt from where the mountain we climbed and the sphinx that we looked out of. I got that. This is like um, stitching material, so it's really neat. And so I got a souvenir of that. I got an ornament with um, Switzerland stuff on it because I want to... Um, Someone asked if I collect stuff from like trips to where I've been and stuff and I just started this recently but I really love Christmas so I'm going to have a Christmas tree that has ornaments from all the places I've been to. I haven't gotten too many yet just because since I still live at my parents' house it doesn't really make sense for me to store a bunch of ornaments there and a lot of places that I go there's going to be times that I go there <laughs> again and I can get one but I figured um, since I probably won't be in Switzerland a lot of times we'll just go ahead and get one. I got a postcard for my nephew. This is the um, place that we viewed out of. He's been collecting them in his class at school. I got um, two shot glasses because a friend of mine asked me to get one for him. And I saw this was the only one they had yesterday when we did our little mountain tour. So I got that one. But then today when I was looking for souvenirs for myself, they have this one and it's like leather. So it looked, I don't know, I liked that one too. So I'll let him decide which one he wants and then whichever one he doesn't want, I'll just keep the other one. The lady on our tour yesterday gave us this little magnet. It's a Christmas edition <laughs> of the um, mountain that we went off of, a little chocolate. Then I got some chocolate from this place that's big in Switzerland, a little pack of chocolate. And then I got some macaroons from this um another little chocolate place but everyone raves about their macaroons so I'm super excited about that. So that's all of my stuff that I'll probably be taking back with me. I doubt I'll be able to eat all this chocolate and all this in one night. <laughs> but here's my little souvenirs. I just tried some of these macaroons and they're freaking amazing. They're so good. So I may actually eat all of these um, before we make it home because wow they're amazing. All right, we have boarded our train to head back to the airport. Our time in Switzerland is done. We got premium economy again for our flight home. just got home it is 11 o'clock which means it is 5 a.m. in Switzerland so I am exhausted I've been up for 22 hours that was just a long day of traveling because the flight was eight hours and we got there early because we were worried about our bus pass and stuff um, so we got to the airport like two hours early and then had to sit in the airport in Philly and our flight to Charlotte got delayed. Then by the time we got to Charlotte, then I had to drive an hour and a half back home. So I am wiped out. I am about to be so lazy and just go straight to bed. I'm not even gonna like wash my face or anything or shower. I'm just gonna like get straight in the bed. <laughs> I'll do all that tomorrow. I'm so tired. Um. I'm too tired right now, so tomorrow morning I'll kind of close out the video and just reflect on the trip and things I would do differently um, if I went back and just some advice if you're planning a trip to Switzerland. But 
I need sleep right now. And then tomorrow when I can think straight, I'll close out the video. But good night for now. We'll finish this out tomorrow. I was out like last night. As soon as I laid my head on the pillow, got the lights off, I was just done for. I got up at 8.30 this morning. So I think since I pushed through the tiredness yesterday and stayed up late and then like just slept, didn't set any alarms, whatever. I don't think I'll have any issues with jet lag. It's so much easier when you're gaining time instead, like, instead of losing it. So when we went to Switzerland, we lost six hours and then coming back, we gained six hours. So yesterday we were just really tired because it was, you know, in the later hours of the day, it was starting to get into like 2, 3, 4 a.m. So that was kind of hard. But it we never really got on Switzerland time, I don't think. We just never really got on a good schedule, like sleep schedule over there. So I think that will probably helped us. Um, but just a few things before I close out the video. So I think look going, or if I was to rebook a, a trip to Switzerland, I think this time I would stay in one of the outside areas. I wouldn't stay right in the center of Zurich, which is kind of where we were this last trip. Um, I mean, it was good because it was nice to be close to the airport and there was a lot of stuff to do around there and it was really easy to get to everywhere from Zurich. But I think next time I would stay either in Lucerne, like we loved Lucerne. It was so beautiful and there was so much to do just walking around there. Like I could have done that every day, just like walked around and seen different things there. Um, and then eating dinner on the water, like every day. Like I could have done that every day. Um, and then there's also, it's a lot easier to get up to the mountains from there. So I would have done either there or we walked through that interlock in this, um, second day and we were on the way up to the mountain and that place was so cute and quaint and pretty. And there were like, there were things that you could do there. Like you could parasail down through the mountains, which I think would be really, really cool. So there was stuff like that. Um, that you could do that you couldn't really do in Zurich because it was just so busy. So I think if I go back that I'll stay somewhere outside. Yes, it'll be a little bit harder to get to from the airport. It'll take more time, but I think it would be worth it. Um, another thing, Zurich is really expensive. So if you're planning a trip to go there, just plan to spend a good amount of money like food. So like food in South Carolina, I feel like the average is around like 10 to $20 a person, depending on what you're ordering there. And like, once you start to get in the like 20s, 30s, 40s, you're like either at a really, really, you're just at a really, really nice restaurant or you're just ordering something really fancy. And like all the restaurants that we went to, it was really closer to like 25 to $40 a person for a meal. So, like, that first day, we, I think our meal was, like, $40 each, and so we spent $80, and that was without, like, we didn't really drink with our meals and stuff like that, so if you're adding drinks, like, wine and beer, then you're gonna be paying, like, a ton of money. <laughs> so, we ended up, what we ended up doing was just splitting meals, because they were pretty big, and with all the walking and stuff we were doing, we didn't want to be really full anyways, so it was enough to hold you over and to not be like super full. And then we would just kind of snack throughout the day. Um, and that saved a good amount of money. Um, another thing is like, you're gonna be using public transportation a lot to get around probably. I mean, you can walk on foot. Like when we were in Lucerne, we just walked the whole time and it was fine, but you're just really tired from walking. So you'll walk like a bunch of miles to go and see everything. So we bought the Zurich pass, which was, you could do it for 72 hours. I think there's like a 24 or it might only be 48 and 72. I'm not sure, but we bought, um, one of those. The funny thing is, is cause the woman was like, just buy this. And then whenever they ask for your best card, you just show them this and it'll work. The whole three days we were there and like, I guess the four days that we were actually like taking any kind of public transportation, we only got asked to see our tickets once and that was on the bus or I mean on the train to Lucerne from Zurich. So we only, all those times we never got asked to see a ticket except for that one time. 
So they must just really trust their people there that they're actually purchasing these tickets because like when I went to Amsterdam, you had to actually like scan your card before you could even get on the the tram and they like just did not even check there. So that was kind of interesting. Um, someone had asked me a, a while ago about like cheap ways to travel and at the time I couldn't really think of anything, but I thought of this because my dad has one of our um, airline credit cards and that anytime you spend money you're getting points that you can use to flights, hotels, car rentals, you know, anything kind of related to travel. And so if you don't have a credit card, you've been looking into getting one and you want to travel, get any kind of travel credit card because you can easily get up a bunch of points and um, use those. Like my dad, we didn't end up using any of its points because he wants to use it for something for him and my mom. But we could have, our hotel would have been free if we used his points. And then I think we would have been able to get like, especially our flights in and out of Charlotte. Um, probably not dessert because those are a little bit more pricey, but, and he's only had that card for, I don't even know if he's had it for a year yet. I think he got it last July and he's already got enough points to do all that. So you can get a lot of points easily with that. So that's an option if you're not getting like paid to travel or you don't travel for work. Um, I don't, think there's really anything else I'm, I'm kind of blinking um but yeah I love this trip it was a lot of fun the scenery is just incredible like half the time I was walking around it did not even look real like some of the pictures I took don't even look like real life if you follow me on Instagram you saw all of them and like some of them I was just like this is not even real like this, there's no way but it's just so so beautiful and just going and walking around, like, is good for me. Like, I love doing that. I don't have to actually physically do and have a plan, like, every single day. So, it's perfect for that. Um, I mean, I loved going up to the mountain and doing that tour the one day. And they have tons of different tours that you can look into if you ever go there. But, yeah, it was a great trip. I'm glad that I got to share it with you guys. If I think of anything else after, um, like, when I'm editing this video, I'll just put it down in the description but yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed my vacation i've got the next couple days off so i've got time to recoup and get um back kind of on a good schedule before i go back to work so that's good but yeah um that's all for now as always any questions comments concerns put them down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!